down on the Yateley Pads Lake. It's a lake that I've read about over the years. I've obviously watched YouTube, seen a few videos, and it's somewhere I've wanted to fish for a long time. So we got here a couple of days ago, and on the second day, I managed to winkle a couple out. Only the smaller out of the stock. Prior to getting here, I headed over to Yateley Angling, which is only around the corner. Spoke to Martin in there, who gave me a bit of inside info. Certainly helped. I found some lovely spots. I've taken a slightly different approach. My understanding is that you're allowed to use boats on here and baiting spoons and things like that. So I figured that they've probably seen small parcels of bait. So rather than doing that, I've opted for a catapult approach. I've soaked my baits out so they're nice and soft. And because of the range that I'm fishing, I can get out onto those spots with a catapult perfectly, get a nice spread of bait and my go-to rig. The spots are lovely, really, really nice. Although it's quite weedy, I've been lucky because I've got three really nice spots and two of them have produced so far. So speaking to Lucky Dave, the bailiff, when we first got on here, he explained that because of the weather not being as it normally is, we're about a month behind. The fish are also a month behind. So they haven't spawned properly, which isn't necessarily a bad thing from our perspective. Hopefully they're up in weight. It's made the fishing quite difficult. We've got high pressure, bright sunshine and a northerly wind. So we have been up against it. We're, uh, we're up for the challenge. We've still got another night to go. So fingers crossed, one of the big girls gives herself up. So on the session with me are my good friends Richard Shenton and Chris Rafferty. Because it's my birthday, they were good enough to let me have the pick of the swims. I've gone into a swim known as Waiting Man's. Gives you good access to the lily pads um, and some open water. Rich is on the far bank opposite me. He's to the far end of the pads. Chris is over in the point. The point has been the most popular swim apparently, well, the most productive swim over the last season, it's done the most fish. And that's probably true of this session as well because Chris has had what, three fish now. So although Chris had to wait for the bites, when the wind changed slightly, it seemed to change our fortunes or his fortunes. And so far he's managed a 27, a 25 and a small common from, uh, from his swim. So things are looking up for him. We're just waiting for Rich to <laughs> bag himself one. He's been a bit unlucky. <laughs> so in terms of baiting approach, we were told by D Lucky Dave, the bailiff, that not to overfeed it, they tend to like smaller amounts of bait and even singles. Uh, Shenton's decided to go for a slightly different approach. Um, he's fishing solid bags onto some spots. And Chris, they say that fortune favours the brave. So after his first fish, he decided to introduce quite a bit of bait. And he's, I think he's put something like 15 spawns out on the spot, which for this lake, some lakes that might not be a lot, but for this one, that's quite a lot of bait. And um, it paid dividends. He, he had another, well, another two fish, so happy days. So my rig approach for this session is much like most of my sessions and that's the Slip D rig. I can't fault it, the hook holds are phenomenal and recently I've had quite a good run of fish. They've all been on the Slip D. It doesn't lend itself to every situation, but where I can, I like to fish a bottom bait or a wafter over a pop-up. Obviously if it's weedy or choddy, then I'll change that up for a, a chod rig or a hinge stiff or something along those lines, maybe even a Ronnie. But nine times out of 10, if I can get away with it and the deck is nice, solid and presentable, it's getting a slip D on it. And that's what I've gone with this session. So in terms of hook baits, I've decided to go for a 12 mil wafter. Some Squid X by Five Star Baits. 
I'm feeding 12 mil, so I want that to blend in as much as I can. That being said, I want it to stand out, but in a different way. I think lakes like this see a lot of pressure through the winter. Apparently it's got good winter form, so they're probably quite used to seeing high-vis baits, bright baits. So for that reason, I like to match the hatch. And the way that I make my hook baits stand out is I pimp them up a bit. So Five Star do a garlic spray, horrendous stuff. If you get it on your hands, it'll be there forever. It's not easy to get rid of, but the fish do seem to like it. So that is what I use to draw the fish in, hone them in on my hook bait, rather than a topper or a bit of color at this time of year. So hopefully, the pimped up hook baits do the do. We're coming into the final night. It's a bit sad because it's such a beautiful lake and I've really enjoyed my time on here. But I feel like the spots are good. They've seen bait, it's been established over the last few days. And there's every chance that those big ones might turn up for a bit of a feed, but we'll wait and see. Fantastic news this morning from Chris, early morning bite, and it turns out it's one of the lake's biggest residents. A new PB for him, UK 40 at 41 pound. A quiet night for myself. However, it's great to see Rich have one, just on last knock-ins last night. The boys have worked really hard, we all have. It's been tough for various different reasons. It's not happened straight away for some of us. I, I got on the score sheet pretty quick, but then it's been quite quiet since then. So a fantastic end to a brilliant session. I'm gonna get some stuff packed down, get the van loaded and head off home.